I'm just going to be kind of going over basic just worm guard stuff today, just kind of introducing you guys to the concepts, okay? So the way I like to think about it, right? So I like to think about is if he's leading with this leg and that leg is behind, I want to go for his rear side collar, okay? And I want to grab this one because it's going to cause more tension and it's going to control his posture better when I start doing things and feeding it through. Okay, this one is still gonna, you know, it's still good, but it's not gonna give as much control of his posture, right? So I wanna get a nice grip right here, a nice slack. I'm gonna think about kind of falling in, controlling like a Dela Kipa style. I'm gonna get my foot up and I'm gonna come right here. So there's two ways of doing this. You can either shoot your leg through, feed it over your leg and through to your hand palm down, almost like a lapel lasso. Or you can grab, you can grab here, you can circle your foot in and kick it straight through, okay? And I prefer, you know, if this is a palm up grip, that's fine, but I personally like the palm down grip because it's more of a nice control. Um, so even if I do nothing else, just understanding this sort of lapel lasso is a really good way to tangle him up because most people like to pass to this direction, most people lead with this leg. So by doing this, I make it very hard for him to pass this direction. He has to clear this foot, right? So another thing about these toes, I don't want my toes facing down and regular like this because it makes it easier for him to reach back and push my toes down to start setting up foot locks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of angle my body so my toes are facing like you're hiding laterally your here. Yeah, like I'm hiding this. So now when he reaches back, try to push my foot down, it's gonna be harder for him to do that. Okay, so keeping this here, I'm gonna think about creating an angle. My, my, my butt is gonna be on top of his toes. I don't want my butt in the middle of him. My butt is on top of his toes, and I'm gonna use my leg like a pendulum to kick up, like I'm doing a crunch. I'm gonna feed this hand through, so I'll come around to the left here so you can see this guy. So, this collar right here is gonna feed through to this hand, and then I'm gonna to fall to my side and switch it to this hand right here, palm down. Okay, so I'm gonna go over that hand exchange one more time. So from the beginning, I've just got a nice, Black grip here. I'm gonna fall back, controlling his legs, sort of like a De La Hiva, and I can either kick it straight through, I can come up and feed it like that, or I can come around and actually, sorry, sure. without kicking him in the nose, lasso right here, and then sit up, pass it to this hand, and I'm gonna kind of fall to that side to open it up so I can now pass it to this hand. And I'm gonna grab palm down, not palm up. So once I can grab palm down, now I can use my form against the side of his knee so it's harder for him to turn back into me. Okay, I just wanna practice getting here for now and then we're gonna talk about all the different attacks we can do from here. So one more time. I've got a nice grip here. I'm falling back into some sort of like a De La Hiva. I'm gonna opt for the lasso option. I'm gonna lasso and then I'm gonna use my leg here, very important, to kick up. So I'm gonna kick up, come straight through. I'm gonna hug his leg feed my lapel to my left hand, pull him down, and then with my right hand, I'm gonna fall to the side and now feed it here. And from this position, I can be up with my elbow, framing against his knee here, and now it's very hard for him to even just posture up or do a whole lot of stuff in there. Okay, I'm gonna show one last time, then we're gonna work this. So here, fall back, controlling the double heba, kicking straight through, sitting up, passing, passing to the outside, and now I'm here on my left side, Framing against his knee with a palm down lapel grip. And then we're going to talk about different stuff that we can do from here. Anyone want to see it one last time? Yeah, can I see the. Yeah. So, free face Joe. So, we're here. Got my double heel grip. I'm going to circle my foot to the inside. Kick it straight all the way through. Don't have the foot on the hip because it's easier for him to push it down. All the way through, past his hip line. My, my butt is on his toes. I'm going to use my leg like a pendulum to kick up. And now once I'm here, I'm hugging his leg. I'm gonna feed it to my left hand. My right hand's gonna come to the side. It's gonna make it easier by falling. And I'm gonna come and I'm gonna grab right here. And then ideally I wanna be kind of up on my elbow and trying to always, you know, beat him. If he's gonna be trying to circle in to face me, I'm gonna follow him, you know, just keeping this control, keeping this frame right here. And then we'll talk about different attacks. So it's just looping in. Yeah, so it's, it's literally so. So like if you, just think about like your foot's all the way through, you've got this little help. Just think about feeding it, sitting up, feeding it over your leg, and then to this hand. So it's this transfer right here, and now your free hand that was grabbing here is going to come around to this side of his leg. I'm going to control the lapel, palm down right here. 
Okay, I'll be around to help you, and then we'll be good. So let's just get familiar with this, and then we're gonna talk about what to do from here, guys. Okay, hands up, one, two, three.